She turned down doing Playboy magazine cover. How about that? Four hundred thousand dollars, naked to the waist, turned it fucking down. Calls me up for approval. <laughs> Mother, I've turned down Playboy. I'm, I'm very proud of you, Melissa. What do I think? <laughs> what do I think, you stupid fucking cunt? What do I think? <laughs> I think you should ask for two hundred thousand more and show you a pussy. That's what I think. <laughs> Welcome to Jump in the Turnstile. I'm Jezbot. I'm Timmy Tarko. We are back in my studio recording another one. Yeah, uh, in your, at your joint. And might be a bit tinny. Does it sound tinny? Oh, well, you've expanded. You've expanded the room. Yeah. And and you've given it a, the old lick of paint, which That's I always nice. like. It makes it look huge. There used to be, I, I can see on the ceiling, there used to be a manhole. Oh, you can still and see And you've it. covered the man. No, I can't see it. That's what I'm Good. commenting on. Yeah, yeah. You've you've plastered it over. I have. You've given it a lick a lick a dick a doodle of uh painting paint Ruscio. <laughs> yeah. Which means I painted it, yeah. Yep. And uh the rest of the room got a splash. Yeah. New, cu- new, new cupboards. New down lights. Yeah. Down lights are a good touch. Nice touch. Nice touch. On a yeah. dimmer. On a dimmer. Mm. Oh. Is it too bright? No, nah, oh, are you gonna? Oh, you gonna give me? He's, he's on a. He's on a ten. He's on a seven. He's on a five. Yeah, it's, it's almost like the lights are off. Filtered light, like yeah. the light that comes through your uh, bedroom in the morning. Right, yeah, sultry. I hate that stuff. Do you? Yeah. Oh, you hate that light. The light in the eyes. Do you ever do the towels over the, the top t- of the? Uh, uh, the towels are uh, blocking the blocking the eyeballs. I think the rule okay. about chucking towels on your. Um, windows though the windows that face the road is you don't you can't let the towels be seen because people walk past walking their doggos and they look at that okay, the towel in the wind they go yeah. towels just go down the spotlight and get yeah. yourself a curtain just bunos 20 it's bucks for one of those rolls no i wrap a towel around my head or a pillow mm. uh, i don't like the light that comes in in the morning well, you, so you said bunos You've been up there? No. Lately? No. No, not this year. Because I, I wanted to know how the supply chain go, was going. Because months ago, last year, you were saying, there's no sticks. There's dead wood up there. There's no 2B4s, no 4B2s. Nothing. No. Nah. So that they're, now it's now it's leaked to the shops. There's the supply oh, yeah. and demand. Yeah, it has right? leaked. Of course, the toilet paper goes first. Mm. It's always a must. Yeah, this did it go that crazy this time? The toilet well, paper, the, or is the, everyone already no, gone? No, no, the, the toilet paper's gone. Right, okay, it's all gone. Um, <laughs> it's not coming back anytime soon. But like, this is the thing: like, people in the off season, mm. the non-toilet buying season, toilet paper buying season, they're not stocking up. What's the toilet paper season? When you know next wave is coming, oh, right, or, right. you know. So it's not like in December to March, people shit more. No, 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 no. It's, it's just when this, like, the scurry to the shops where that make the uh, shelves bare, mm. as I was mentioning before, the uh, toilet paper is inevitably the first one to go. Yes. Right? And and now, if you go to the shops, it's gone again. So, let's just... I let's smell... Just, I, I smell, smell something of shit. my foot. <laughs> it smells <laughs> like bullshit. under my foot. Yeah. What about... Uh, is it, do you think, apart, apart from the, the COVID times, the before yeah. times or the now times yeah do you think in the before times uh the toilet big toilet paper mm. and the ceo of toilet paper yeah is up in their office going like it's just a constant buying source of toilet paper like it's a constant yeah. line of people that buy toilet paper there's yeah, yeah. never a peak or a no, trough. No, no no they just sail sail sales so all, all the, all the all time day. yeah yeah and then it they can't say, be a shitting season. I, I just can't say it. That no, like no, humans. it's very. It's a constant. It's only. It's a constant wipe. Yeah. Still, still wipe. It's going on. They're every still wipe everywhere. Um, but then they, I think, was the was the plan to always have two ply, in the end, just to sort of like give them a little bit more, or do you just get one regular sheet, cut it in? I think in these half <laughs> making two ply, so it still is one sheet. In these day, this day and age, you you get your three or four ply, and then you, you sit there. You, well, you sit there and you you like tear them apart. You, you, oh la la, three or ply. four ply. I didn't even know it existed. <laughs> Holiday does it. Mm, you can't get it at the shops. Mm. The the. It's, it's, I did that. What you should be doing with your toilet toilet rolls mm-hmm. is cutting them straight down. Make the guts. binoculars. <laughs> 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 Cut them straight down the guts. Yeah. So instead of it being that wide, it's half as wide. Okay. So you got two rolls of dunny paper now. You put it on the drop saw, you get your, your chinsu knife and you just yep. 
you cut it in half. Yeah, and then you, you put got two it, rolls. It's attached it to the end of a drill. Put the sticky tape the uh, the roll on. Ah. Turn the drill on, and, and it rolls put that the, on your ass. We, oh. can, we can make toilet paper. Is that what you're saying? We get the regular paper juxty wipey paper towels. Then we cut them in the middle on the bandsaw, each sheet, mm-hmm. and then join those together. Then we roll that on ah. on the used toilet paper rolls, right. and we sell them right. at the front of Coles. Okay. So people are like looking for a bog, looking and, for a bog. And do you flush them or do you reuse? You mm, put them in the I dish, think you can get well, that, well, they say traditionally you can clean it. You see in the ad when they wipe over the bench, it's a whole massive wipe mm. with these ones. Yeah. That. Right. That's our selling point. Mm-hmm. So at the, at the front, we have our table with a, with a trough of like clean water and a trough of like right. shitty water. <laughs> they gather around, everybody. We're going to do a big demonstration. We should have done business management. Got to order now. Do you remember or they marketing. used to do that at Chatty, the old Chatty in the in the Coles Old World, uh-huh. um, where they used to have people there displaying chinsu knives and so tough that it can cut through a hammer chop wood like a hatchet and still cut paper thin tomato slices oh, doing yeah, the yeah, side yeah. thing like the, the whack vac all you gotta do is you whack it mm. and it sucks it certainly does suck you're whack <laughs> but uh you remember that i do i do you'd uh you'd have the chinsu you'd have i mean uh, demtel yeah. Was it Demtel or was it Danos Direct? Uh, you'd have the, <laughs> what's that one? A, a Squidgy. It's, it's a Squidgy. Oh, this, yeah, the, right. yeah. Is that his name? Squidgery. And I'm James Squidgery, the creator of the Squidgery Do. <laughs> the other thing that's been going off the shelf before we mm-hmm. went to, uh, up to Bendigo for our little holiday. Yeah. Uh, no fennel. Cassie right. wanted fennel for the. Uh, you got some fancy taste, man. Three ply fennel. <laughs> yeah, Cause you know, you, yeah no like, fennel. Uh, there was there was it was bare shelves. Well, you and think, I think that you could get any kind of fruit or veg in the country town because that's where all well, the that's, farms that's are. Well, that's that's where it should be. That should be direct. They should have the best of the best. Yeah. I went past the onion trough and it was, you know, when the onions like really funk out, they get that black dust on them. Yeah, they had that. And the fruit flies. It's crook. It was crook. So their supply is <laughs> pretty much. You just but go you, down the down the bloody road to the local. Farmer. What do you do with the fennel? Oh, she puts it in salad or something. I don't, I don't is know. it? Yeah, I don't know. Shred it, cut it, slice it, dice it. I want to know. Is it cube it? <laughs> I'd say <laughs> dice and slice. Okay. Straight in the salad. Longies. Um, but look, I, you, when you can't be bothered going to the shops all the time, you go into the <laughs> cupboard at night. And it's like, well, I don't, mm. uh, I can't be bothered going to the shops. So like, let's cook something that's here. Oh, the, the yeah, let's cook the something um, that's in these t- massive cupboard, cupboards. Full cupboard, of casser- food. cupboard casserole. Yeah, there you, you go. Got your, usually, what with us, it comes down to some form of soup, right? Mm. So you get one of the canned soups as a as a as a base. Chicken stock in there. Oh yeah, right. The old potatoes, the black onions. Yeah, for sure. Um, a, a can of beans yeah, goes chuck in. Them in. Yeah, corn. Cream corn, corn, leftover, oh. leftover uh, panini, or what's the other bow tie pastas, <laughs> or maybe little dinosaurs. You just chuck, chuck them, them all in. in. <laughs> yep, we did. Uh, we did actually find a quarter packet of Alphabetti spaghetti. Ah. Whack that in. Alphabetti spaghetti. <laughs> Alphabetti spaghetti. When was the Mason eating Alphabetti spaghetti? Oh, it's got to be eons. <laughs> Eon FM. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like a, a a gumbo you would do, just yeah, like pretty, everything yeah, goes of. in. Yep. Um, this is what's for dinner, but you clean out your cupboards. Like Cassie's pulled out these chickpeas and these mm. uh, little, I don't know what the seed, seeds and stuff mm-hmm. like that, and chucking them in the salads and um, yeah, right. open up the lettuce. Yeah, right. And tomatoes and everything, but um, yeah, so there's you plenty of food stuff. in your cupboard. Yeah. You just can't be bothered cooking it. Yeah, and you can't, like, with your... If you go to your fridge, for example, it's condiments, so you can't really make a meal out of condiments. Condiment heavy. The German-style potato salad hot dog cake. And then for desserts, the ketchup and mustard cake. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Is there, like, you know, we had the uh, the tuna the tuna press... Tuna mold. Tuna mold mm. uh, jelly-based... 70s mold yeah. meal. Dinner party. Is there, I wonder if there's any recipes from them days there that oh, yeah. used uh, a condiment 
as its base. Seeded, okay. you got your seeded mustard. Oh, you yeah. Know? You got your, uh, I guess, uh, your mayo and tomato coming together, creating 1,000 islands <laughs> <laughs> of taste. Yeah. But- What was that one you were- Because there was like, you know, mix your mixed mashed bananas with- Bloody well, what gravy. was the one you were telling me about? The uh, the dad was saying it's some sort of your rabbit, a sausage and a sausage and a mm-hmm. sausage meat and an egg or something. Oh like no, that. a Scotch egg, mate. Right. Scotch egg. What, 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 what was that? It, well, yeah, you you you, 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 you soft boil your egg, so it's still squishy, squishy. You know, it's soft still inside. yolky. Still yolky. Cooked yeah. all the way through, but yolk, yolk. I don't know. Enough to peel it, right. and then you roll that in like flour i guess and then oh no sorry this is what you do you get <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, we we get some sausages sausage mince yeah right and then you flatten that out like a patty you put the egg in the center and you join it and plasticine it together right. like a meatball right with an egg in it okay and then you flour that and then you crumb it and then you do your traditional schnitz method right and then you deep fry that <laughs> 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 Until it's black in the middle. Until it's black in the middle, and then when you when you pull it out, all brown and toasty and, and yeah. fine, it's a it's just it's just it's a crumbed sausage egg. Right. And you crack it open, and the egg. And that was a popular thing back that? in the day, was it? In the seventies, yeah, right. yeah, quite big. Can't but, say I've ever um, had one. Nah, I had it, and it is <laughs> an unreal. Okay, it's the best. It's bomb diggity. It's just gone out of fashion. Well, it's yeah. Well, it's not fashionable. It's not like a ham steak with um, pineapple and a cherry on top. It's not as fashionable as loud. <laughs> or a tuna mold. Mm, or a tuna mold. Yeah, or a pavlova. Yeah, they're, they're sweets as well. Where whack a dack a doodle. That's why I was thinking. Like, could you put condiments in, in a, in a nineteen seventy sweets? Right. You know, like um, I I thought like the um, I don't know if you've ever had it, but the sweet mustard from Hungry Jacks. Yeah, right. right. It's like it's like a flavor. I'm like, we should make an ice cream out of this. Okay. Mustard flavored ice cream. Well, if you read the back of the packet, just make sure it actually is mustard. Yeah, well, it probably sure it's probably isn't. Like... It's more more like uh, mustard flavored sugar. But mm, I thought it's sweet it. enough to be 1970s dessert. Mm. You know, because my mom went to strip. As soon as you put the egg in, my mom. Yeah, as soon as you put the egg into the bat into the uh, sausage meat. Yeah, my mind went to uh, pastry and cheese. You know, okay, you do a pastry it. version. I think that's a common sort of thing. It's my oh, I reckon you could. I reckon that would uh, boil the egg. That would make the egg go hard, right? Being in the oven to cook, and in, in the time it takes for an oven to cook a sausage compared to a deep fried oil mm. pan, not oil. How about we do mm. this? A uh, BLT mm-hmm. without the owl. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Wait, no, me, Hold the L. <laughs> let me start again. A BT. We could make a breakfast ball yep. out of what you said, scotched eggs. Now all you gotta do is put some cheese in it. Okay, right? so yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like the uh the the to ducken. To, to ducken. Yeah. That's the one. I I, I put my fingers <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um so yeah, to ducken, but so breakfast style. So you, so you got your scotch eggs out. I described it. Then on the outside of that, because that's the that's, inner. That's yeah, the reward. Yeah, we need a bread for the outside so you can hold it like a like a ball. So like it's an egg, it's an egg and bacon McMuffin sort of thing. Okay, without the muck. Or, okay, well, what or about the muffin? So we'd, <laughs> well, you'd wrap you'd wrap the scotch egg that's got cheese and ham in it or whatever mm-hmm. in sort of like a pastry, mm-hmm. and then deep fry that. <laughs> Can you deep fry pastry? I don't think so. Of course I you think can. that's no. Nah, I think that's a bloody. You wouldn't deep fry a, a snuffy wagger, would you? Why not? I don't know. Maybe that's something else for Tim Sims. Yeah, like a normal barbecue sausage in a deep fryer. Boom! Off to the races. What about, What about this? It's the, it's the, it's the original sausage and egg, classic English breakfast ball. Yes, that's what we're trying <laughs> right? to get to. Right? Got your scotch egg. Yeah. It's got all your all your proper elements. We need bacon. Mm-hmm. Right, so that ball is now wrapped in bacon, correct? Cooked, uh-huh. just enough to wrap. Well, right? do you wrap the bacon around the sausage? No, it's around the outside of the scotch egg. Okay, so we're going out, we're going exponentially out, like the tadakan does. Yeah, yeah. Then a layer of lettuce. So you have it in in, in a lettuce. Ah, somehow, I don't know. It's resting in the lettuce. The lettuce is uh, 
Or do you line the, do you line the bread coating with lettuce when you're putting it all together? Ah, that's right. It's just right. A, more of a garnish. Yeah, so it's a little roll with the, the top taken out and all the bread taken out of it. So it's just a That's fucking, actually a good way to serve it as well. It's a food bowl. When you're at your uh, the, bread the, bowl. The, the food caravan, you, you get handed a piece of lettuce in your hand and then the ball just goes in that. Yeah, I reckon, with the lettuce. I reckon we could probably just buy some napkins. You could do that. <laughs> <laughs> Napkin first, lettuce second. Yeah, but then you, you, chuck, you chuck the ball sitting in the little bread nest mm-hmm. with lettuce around it like it's oh, a... Oh, I see, see, I see. Uh, we call it the um, breakfast bird ball. <laughs> bird, bird, breakfast bird b- bar. Bar, 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 Sources on the side? Well, this is this is the next thing. Okay, so this goes back <laughs> to what hungry. you wanted to invent. Pastry or just the flour, flattened out flour and with your dough. Yeah. Um, then just a whole squirt or a dollop of like um, horseradish. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. And then you wrap that up and you deep fry that. Okay. And so you're basically getting these little pockets of horseradish or... Must get mustards. Yep. Um, yeah. So you have a bite of that, mm. bite of your breakfast bowl, bird's bath, breakfast ball. ball. ball boy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. Yeah, right. What about if you put the what about if you put the cooked bacon around the egg before the sausage? So it's in there. Ah. Right? So the, yep. the finished thing is the scotch egg, but it's scotching with a little surprise. Yeah, bacon surprise. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> it's got pig in it. What happened to all these seventies meals? Pig in an egg. Pig egg. Pig. In it. Piggy. Because you got Because you're a pig for eating it. Piggy. Disgusting. <laughs> Don't put disgusting in the title. <laughs> no, you warned me that the last episode. <laughs> no, we'll figure that out. We'll figure it out. I like it. I think we just invented something. It's a hell of a lot better than a lot of our business ideas. Hmm. Hmm. What's the what you, you were saying something to me the other day? Irish twins. You, you mentioned Irish twins. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I think I remember. What is what is it again? What is the Irish twins thing? Um, what explain it to me again? Because you say we're Irish twins, so we weren't born on the uh, same day. Uh, yeah, the Irish twins mm. is when your mum, like you, you're born nine months apart. Oh, okay. So basically, as soon as she gets home, your lovely mother. She's preggers. She gets preggers again. Yeah, as soon as she walks through the threshold. Your filthy father couldn't keep your fucking hands (laughs) off her. (laughs) Your dirty (laughs) prick. Right? And so, like, if it's nine months, you're basically twinnies. Yeah. Because you're growing up together. So you're you're Irish. the next. So I think it's. I think it's uh, hidden hidden racism right up front. Mm. Like. um, so then, okay, suggesting so that all Irish women, come yeah, well, they're okay. So, and- like, this is what I'm saying. It's the it's the name of it, right? So it's got a name. Mm. I don't know what this has got the name of. This what you're, what you're thing. pointing at? Yeah, I found this bloody thing about twins that were born 15 minutes apart. Okay, right, and one was just before New Year's, mm. and oh, one was after. So cool. they're born in different years. Still twenties. Different dates, but still twin eyes. That's awesome. What is that? You get, what it, do you you call get your it? own birthday is what, what it's you, called. What do you call it? Your own... You're just a person then? Yeah. <laughs> you just got it your own birthday. Yeah, but you're a twin. But your twin's all older, the twins older than are, you. All the twin rules apply. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm older than you. Uh, kinesis. Uh, t- telekinesis. Um, the ability for one changes into ice. The other one... In the, uh, yeah. in the form of a bucket. If I... If I, if I <laughs> I'm in the form of an ice gorilla. <laughs> Shape of an ice gondola. If I punch myself in the balls, you feel it. Mm. That's the Corsican brothers. I was talking about the Wonder Twins. Mm. Mm. Hey, well, he turned to anything ice, and she turned into anything. Ah, cool. All right. So, what doesn't she? Oh just- no, anything water. He oh, water based. So it could be like form of a uh, fucking ice cloud again. What rain cloud? Yeah, snowman. Rain man. Form of water. 
Because I remember she was he was always getting his water in her bucket. Ew. Wouldn't she form into a, a bucket and then... <laughs> yeah. He'd be inside of her. She should just form <laughs> into a gun and shoot whoever's coming to them. Oh, they might have done that. Form of an ice bullet. Form of a gun. Yeah, cool. Because the ice gun would probably blow up if you mm. did it the other way around. Yeah. Real, real bullet ice gun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You'd be nervous. The gun would melt. Wouldn't, the trigger wouldn't work. It'd snap off because that's the flimsiest bit of, the, of, of an icicle. And you've got Surely. to really find your target very quickly before your hand melts the ice. Mm. So, um, but then mm. there's no evidence. Yeah, if okay. You can figure it out. Yeah. They, well, they just check everybody's hands if you're wet. Mm. You probably did it. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, so let's... let's so what happens to well, we're, detective, we're detectives now because we could... I've got another case we could try and crack. Well, I'll put some sound music in, uh, sound okay. effect in here. Um, all right, so here's the, here's, the, here's the case that Gordon Ramsay look like. Okay. Okay, first mystery... Wait, 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 wait let me guess. He looks like a cunt. <laughs> And that's three, that's three uh, C words, so I think that's our limit for this episode. It's actually a dwarf porn star, so uh-huh. it looks like Gordon Ramsay's cock. <laughs> right. Wrinkled. <laughs> so they said they said in this little story, yeah, I guess so, yeah, very wrinkly in the face, but like I, I saw a photo of him and, and the porn lookalike dwarf guy. Right. They are very similar, very, very, very similar right. to the point where you'd look at Gordon Ramsay and go, yeah, you've, you've you guys your, got the same whatever it is. You you've put your head on a big person's body. Yeah, it's something like that. It's, uh, yeah, they've got the same kind of look at them. Yeah, yeah. Cunt, you're a cunt, you're a cunt. <laughs> they both have the same lines. You'd have a filthy mouth though. You the know, porn look like he's fifty now, right? So is he? Yeah. So all those sh- <laughs> all those shows you watch, uh, Kitchen Nightmares, yep. all that stuff. That's about twelve years ago. Yeah. So the stuff you were watching, he was like thirty eight, and he looked like a. It did. Like he looked a, like it had some city city miles on his face. Yeah, yeah. It's street, the street value of that face, Just like jagged, jagged yeah. lines. So we're back to the back to our detective case. Yeah, right. Um, the. Uh, the dude who plays Gordon Ramsay's double mm. in pawns. I don't know. Does he go, bring in the double? And it's like this dude. This is the only guy we can get that look like you. But he's quite on my size. You know. Uh, so the... Um, the, 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 the let me just read this. Yeah. So here's the case. Right. He's found dead. This porn guy? Yeah, this, this guy's died. And that's why he's in the news. Recently? Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, but... The body was found in a badger's burrow, a badger's den, in like, the ground. Like a, like a badger. Like a badger. Badger, badger. Dragged him in. His body was found in there. Whether he was jammed in there or not, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Sounds like a homicide. Does. But how did that happen? Okay, they well, solve the case. All right. I don't know it's the like answer the, to this. Yeah, no, but it's like one no of one these. Does. It's one of these conundrums where you. you the, all they found this, this dude was dead and all they found was uh, water a puddle of water underneath him okay and it was How there was a block there? there was a block of ice <laughs> form of an ice gun how did he hang himself if he was <laughs> oh it's, yeah, was, it's the riddle the riddle, the riddle. so yeah yeah so I'm a not badger. very smart today, Tim. I'm, that's fine. That's you know. fine. So a badger. So how he, big is a badge? A badge. Well, I reckon if, if you're thinking about a, a possum, mm-hmm. another marsupial, mm-hmm. uh, marsupial. Or just, a, or just a, uh, no, just a mammal. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, they can get big. The ones you see in the in the bush or even in the, in your roof. Yeah. They, they get quite big. Yeah. Like a cat. I reckon a badge is bigger than a possum. Yeah. So I'm I'm thinking. He was the big one in the uh, wind in the willows. Was he? Go. he was quite large. Stop yeah. It. So if a badger was standing on its hind legs, and badgers, it came, and it came, it came across Gordon Ramsay's lookalike, look look it'd probably be standing the same size. As mm. Now, he'd be looking at him like a tadakan. <laughs> yeah, I propose that this badger has stumbled across this the body. Okay, he hasn't killed. I was going straight. Well, for well, you, got to, you can't rule out the uh, possibility of suicide. So he's gone. Done his done his business out in the woods, ah. fallen down, mm. dragged off by the badger. By the badger, dragged into his old. So, like we can't rule out this badger as a suspect. Though. <laughs> okay, yeah, right. He was there. It was in the body was found in his burrow. That's right. So it's a, maybe it's a setup. 
Ah, oh, yeah. It's the other badgers. So we've got to find out. Well, who do we see in the first or second scene of this episode? That was them. It was that oh, badger. Oh, was that, it was that badger. badger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the one that's acting all, all like helping out and stuff. Yeah, that's it. It's him. The badger did it. Mm. The badger butler. Aha. Uh-huh. The guy at the door. Yeah, the first badger you see. Was, <laughs> it's was usually the, the one that did it. Yeah. But uh, I think the article, though, about the fact that he's died and been found in a badger, badger's den, mm. then they just go on to say, lookalikes make a lot of money, blah, 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 and talk about the whole lookalike industry. Oh, so it's an ad. Do you look like anyone? Well, lookalikes mm. get more than normal actors. Dwarf lookalikes are rare, but rare as hen's teeth and can command top dollar. Yeah. It's like... How did he die? And it's like, <laughs> do you look like a miniature Gordon Ramsay and would like to be in adult yeah. movies? We need the following characters for an <laughs> up-and-coming film. <laughs> so Small Pee Wee Herman. So do we know Do we know uh, Pee Wee? Oh, yeah, 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 Pee Wee Herman. Pee-wee. Yep. Um, do we know what this guy's name is and should I look his porn up on the internet? Don't see it anywhere. I reckon if you looked it up, it would be like... Top of the bloody stack. Top of the pops. Top of the pops over there. That's that's the top story, right? You run with that. And it pops off. Hmm. So yeah, look, I, I don't think we've we, we might have solved it, but more questions and answers. But there's some leads to follow up, Tim. Yeah, so like you know, like the badger, the ba- butler badger. Pay more attention to who says, "Oh, you look like you know John Stamos." Oh, maybe I can make some money, but yeah. You. I don't. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> Why John Stamos? I don't know. Oh, because... Oh, because uh, oh, I was watching uh, Bob Saget um, roast. roasting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, it's not good. It was yeah. not funny. Bob Saget, who raped and killed a girl in 1990. <laughs> nah. I don't like the roast. Now, let's talk about the roast. Yeah. Because if you watch the Bob Saget roast... Mm. It's because um, he just died. Full yeah, he house. Just died. Full Damn. house guy. Yeah. yeah. Um, goes goes heavy. All the guys that are roasting him, they go really they heavy. Go, yeah, they go deep, deep into the pedophilia <laughs> jokes and stuff. Yeah. Goes. It's- Bob has done a lot for this country. For eight seasons, half an hour a week, Full House kept pedophiles off the street. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's off. They, they, they were twins. The Olsons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Irish. I uh, don't know. Just think Olson. Right. <laughs> but uh, I got me thinking about who's been on them. The, girl, the twins? The, no, who's been on the, oh. on the roast. <laughs> right, yeah. And yeah. looked it up and it's a list of uh, bloody... The tops. The tops. You've got top your, of the top. Justin Bieber. Yep. Um, Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Did, was she? I don't know. Was she one of them? It's, it's, the, it's that ilk. The celebrity well, celebrities. It's, it's, no, well, it's Rob Lowe. Yeah. Donald Trump. Yeah. It's Bob Saget. It's it's people who have... Made uh, it. Da- well, but done something... Yeah. ...where they need to come on it to be shamed. Yeah. Like a um, like a ceremonial, uh, sacrificial kind of... A, a, like a shame part of ritual. Your, part of your, yeah, initiation into this... Uh, Elite club of um, actors and mm. comedians. You have to be publicly humiliated, yeah. and all your secrets have to be revealed. You have to pull your pants down in front of the whole country. And yep. You have to sit there and just take a spanking. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> for all the naughty things you've done. And some of the shit, some of the jokes they're saying, it's like, yeah, yeah. Is is part of it true? Yeah, or is it? It has to be. Does it come from every anywhere? Like. Where is, where is yeah, that? but then if you're taken out of context, like if it was just it was just something that might have come up as a scandal that wasn't true, and now they're like making out like it was. And well, it's that's embarrassing how you, that's because how you, it wasn't. That's how you bury the truth. You yeah. make it. A, you make it a joke in plain sight. Yeah, bring it out. Yeah. And then when anyone says to you, so did you hit that woman with your yeah. car and drive yeah. off? Yeah, well, no, I, ki- no. I killed someone. No, I didn't. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, I didn't. I was just joking. But I did. Let's, let's yeah. see if I can. Uh, um, you can get. Let's see if I can get the list of the of his crimes. Full, full roast. Um, no, 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 no. Oh, Jesus. the yeah, just the the, the sacrificial light sacrifice. roast. Because remember, Justin Bieber had his brat days. Yeah, and he was slagging off journalists and being a bit yeah. of a dick to his fans. Yeah. So he needs a good old shaman. Yeah. So he's he's the top. To, to, he's the well, best. I think it takes him to the next level of their. Yeah, celebrity we'll, acceptance. We'll let you back in the club 
But if you've you, got to do this you've first. You've got to do this for us. You've got to suck on this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Charlie Sheen. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. So, of course, he's done plenty to talk Rob, Rob Lowe. Yep. Remember what Lo- Rob Lowe did in that 80s? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> James Franco. Yep. He's been yep. whipped around the media... Hasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. No, no, go to uh, the list, Do- dude. Donald Trump. Yeah, of course. Yeah. He, uh, David Hasselhoff. Remember when he ate the burgers? And he's, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm so, on heroin. Yeah, he's so yeah. pissed. His, his daughter <laughs> sent the videos in to clean him up. Oh, really? Yeah. That bitch. Um, oh, this, <laughs> all these ads keep popping up. Bastards. I hate it when they do that. Let's see who are, uh, Bob Saget. Yeah. Mm, he's some question marks over his doings. Mm. Alec Baldwin. <laughs> yeah. So see, it's simple. That's what I think with the Alec Baldwin thing with the uh, the old yeah. scenario. Uh, that's similar. It's a similar. You get to pick. You can go. Um, you need some shame. You've been. You've done. Well, us you can wrong go. Somehow. We can, you can go roasting where we fucking say everything and we all laugh at you like a dickhead. Yeah. Or you can commit this crime and we'll get you get you out of it. But everyone's going to know that you shot someone. Yeah. You go. I'll. I'll he, do that Because he's been on the roast and he's gone. I'm not going on the roast again. What's his? What's what was his podcast called again? Uh, here's the thing with Alec Bolt with me, Alec Baldwin. My chance to catch up with writers, artists, and people I admire. I'm like, fuck I'm off. Like Baldwin. I don't want to hear another. Did, how many episodes did he get up to? Can you... Um... Uh, yeah, I could... Oh, I went through my podcast. I don't have it on there anymore. Um, yeah. Uh, I... pa- Pamela Anderson was mm. another roast roaster. Yeah. Roastee. Flavor Flav. Yeah. All these people have had some troubling... Histories, you know. Yeah, they? yeah. It's like okay, your final hangout to dry, then you can be gone. Because like, what, what are they all? Are they all bad boys now? Do you know what I'm saying? Well, like, they're not I, always bad boys. No, but I'm saying like after this, they get roasted. If they're not dead, mm-hmm. do they get accepted by society yeah. after they've had their sacrificial ceremony? Yeah. Well, it's like this Bruce Willis, right? Mm-hmm. He was notoriously a prick on set and rude, and you know, yeah. he's got that dirtbag sort of like vibe about him so his publicist probably said everyone takes you too serious or you you know you, you take yourself too seriously people think you're a bit of a stiff yeah so go on this roast yeah let your friends make fun of you sacrifice yourself. and they're not there they're, they're and then you can do friend. die hard five you prick yeah <laughs> <laughs> then we'll let you do die hard for free william shatner yeah of course he's probably killed someone oh yeah in joan, space joan rivers he killed a lot of people in space. Didn't yeah, he? and then that's where the evidence is. Joan Rivers, ow, 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 <laughs> ow. <laughs> Chevy Chase, notorious prick. Yep. Um, he didn't take his very well, didn't he? Nah. Yeah, right. But it goes on and on. You know, like why would you? Oh, Hugh Hefner. Yeah, of course. Right. How, how many people have died of that bloody dude's venereal diseases? <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking more heroin overdoses at the Play- Playboy, on, Playboy Mansion, and I'll be on top of you. Making sweet, paying for love. <laughs> oh. Saggy old. Love. I'll be no. I'll be the dude in the corner in the robe. Yeah, you'll know me. I'll always be there, <laughs> smoking on me pipe. Apparently, when you go Watch to him. the when you go to the um, <laughs> the, the Playboy Mansion, well, yeah. this is the thing about Hugh. You never know where he is, but you can smell him. But he's in every corner, <laughs> smoking a pipe, <laughs> smoking a pipe, and sitting on a chair uh, with but, his hand in, just inside of his robe leg. Mm. Uh, when you go to the Playboy Mansion, apparently you're not allowed to. You're allowed to come up there. This is what um, Corey Haim was, or Corey Haim, yeah, Felman, F- Corey Feldman was saying, yeah. Because um, he was always hanging out there. He goes, "You're allowed to go there, but you're not allowed to pick up any of his chicks." So you got to, oh, really? You pretty much bring your own chicks. But when you're Corey Feldman, you can bring your own chicks, right? But then you got to sign that waiver. You got to sign a waiver that you're not going to. Oh yeah, what you're doing here? Yeah, yeah. you don't ever talk about. Yeah, you never talk about. Otherwise, we're going to roast you. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't. <laughs> the only way you can get out of it is a roast. So let's. I wanted to look up. Uh, where is it? Playboy Mansion. Yes. I wonder if there's a um, a list where it actually has the rules. Okay. Got it. I found it. Excellent. You won't believe the shocking rules. Shocking. I th- yeah, I think it's. I think it's more not the party rules because those are like, 
you know, the only thing the only thing about Fight Club is don't talk about Fight Club. Oh, so right? it's, it's not so like it's not, the, it's not the mansion rules, but it's the rules of how to be a chick okay. in the mansion. Okay, so yeah. it's not like don't dive in the shallow end. Yeah, it must have tits. Um, <laughs> put away your own towels. Be away, be away, stubby holder. Nah, I think it's a bit more fucking rank than that. All right, let's <laughs> well, let's rank them. Uh. Uh, being yeah, but well, being the main girlfriend isn't a great job. You know, she gets perks, but she has to share a bed with the human meatloaf. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, the girls are to be seen more than heard. Right. That's fair enough. Yeah, you don't want a house. You don't want a house full of cackling and hack, ha- hacks. And, you know? and to be fair, they're all like nineteen, twenty. So you don't yeah, want so them. They're squawking. You don't want, and, you don't want them talking. Yeah. Yeah. No, no hair pulling <laughs> in the fights. Wouldn't you say? Ah, uh, the girls yeah. gotta look good. Well, if you're gonna be, you can't ha- scratch their tits up. If you're gonna be pulling, scratch my tits up. <laughs> if you're gonna be pulling hair, you've got to be doing that in the mud room. Yeah, in the mud ring. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Special room it's, for it's a special place. Two girls enter. Keep, one keep girl it in leaves. the ring. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the mud, in the mud ring. Yeah, one girl finishes it off. <laughs> the fight, right? In the mud ring. Uh, they get a weekly weekly clothing allowance of a thousand dollars. That's pretty sweet. Do you have to spend it on clothes? Um, edible underwear. You can survive mm. on that. Yeah, you'd be like much. Because they're only allowed to shop at the sex shop. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but you got a thousand dollars a week, girls. None of these underwears have any crutches in them. Yeah, and you're forbidden from buying the same items. Now go, <laughs> be gone. Mm. Terrible. Mm. Is, is Hugh Hefner like one of those uh, philanthropists or something like, or does he just like hang out all fucking day? I don't think he helps anyone. No, but is he just he is he just like eternally there? He's just there. What's his other job apart from Playboy? Because didn't he sell Playboy and it just all became about? Yeah, he mm-hmm. sold. Yeah, and then I heard he sold the mansion, but a oh. part of part of the the people who bought it. Um, part of the lease or the clause is that he has to live there until he dies. Right. And then who gets it? The dog. The dudes who, yeah. No, the yeah. dudes that bought it off him, but he has to stay there the whole time. So they've been making his life a living hell. Like, right. You can't have your friends parking over there. Uh, can, Excellent. Turn, turn the noise down. Excellent. You know, like. Yep, yep. Yep. Drain the pool. Yeah. It's costing too much to heat it. Yep. It's all crumbling around. Uh, the Playboy Bunny initiation ugh, involved fucking Hugh. Oh, yeah. I'm he sure. was there. <laughs> I think, no, I think you had to get I'm it. pretty sure you got Have a slice of meatloaf, so to speak. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, and had a wrinkle. Yeah, an old piece <laughs> of <laughs> meatloaf. Yeah, you got to iron out the wrinkles. Um, if you like the nightlife of being Hef's Bunny... If you don't like the nightlife, then being half spunny isn't for you. You got to be like it's the wiggy wham wham wazzle. It's the, <laughs> the, the party worm. <laughs> the party worm. I think that's what. It, I, that's probably where it came from, actually. You know, I'll just keep partying here. <laughs> <laughs> a bloody Mike's done some weird twisty thing there, Jez. What? Oh, yeah, I think I fixed it. Um, so, yeah, you got to party. Party all the all time and yeah. party every day, yeah, every and that's the only day. song you're allowed to listen to every day. Yeah, since the '80s when it came out, this is my favorite song <laughs> forever. <laughs> I don't want to party every day. Be a bunny, hop around. Yeah, but you've only got ten years of partying in you before you kicked out. I mean, I'm sure there's no bloody thirty-one year olds or thirty year olds there. Mm, okay, but the activities were arranged, all arranged for the girls. So the girls had slip, basically nothing to do. Yeah, slide. slip and slide. Yeah, uh, yeah. We go to mud, mud wrestling, jelly wrestling. Then we've got pole well, dancing none classes. Of them, none of them are allowed to talk to other men, and their lives are organised for them. Mm. So it sounds like a harem. It sounds like a prison scenario. So what do it? they get out of it exactly? Human trafficking. Oh, okay. Isn't it? Right, okay. Oh, no. Um, what does Hugh get out of it? Oh. What, does, what does she get out of it? A thousand dollars worth of... You get to what? party every day oh, for a thousand dollars a day. With me. At sex shops. <laughs> yeah, with me. The human, the human lung diagram. Riddle, riddle me this. Mm. How old's Hugh? 89 or something like that? Something like that, yeah. Surely he does not. Soaking wet. He doesn't give a fuck about rooting anymore. No. That's what I'm saying. He's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a corner man. That's right. Yeah. 
Yeah. Strictly a pipe man. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah, I just suck on the pipe. Uh, the pippy. Uh, there's, oh yeah, they've got their routines and all that kind of shit in the mansion. We don't need to go through their fucking necessaries. Uh, the Playboy parties were a chance for the girls to let loose, sort of. Yeah, we, we can't. Within reason. Well, you can't talk to anyone. Any yeah, dudes. you're not allowed to talk to the fucking high executive man. Oh, no, you're, you're allowed, allowed to talk to influential men, but they have to sit with her for the entire time. Okay. So they can have chats. And he's like, so, next. So you're going to have a conversation but, okay, with any so one of these women. Hugh's girlfriends, right? You're not allowed to touch them. Mm-hmm. So, no but you get to sit there and talk to her all, all night. And they dance around you. Right. And... So it's not a strip club. No, 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 no. No, no, it's a party. Every night and every, every day. day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, plastic surgery. Ah, oh, true. Free. Gotcha. Free plastic surgery. You want them tits? You want them tits? <laughs> you can have them tits. <laughs> but you got to do some woman first. Some unnecessary. Clean my necessaries. And my necessaries, <laughs> I mean my all my bathrooms in this mansion. The pool needs yeah. cleaning. We need the gardens done. It's necessary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that you girls do it and I fucking don't. But I get to work. I'm going to fucking do that thing again. <laughs> <laughs> Not the thing. <laughs> yeah, you know the one. Uh, the inside of the mansion wasn't uh, all it was cracked up to be. No shit. The carpet's regularly stained by mm-hmm. the girls' dogs, the uh, doggos. So there's shit everywhere. So a bunny gets a dog. Well, you get a dog. You get a purse dog. Mm. Purse eyes. <laughs> yeah, you've got to have a purse eye. Purse eye. Purse eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's in my purse. Oh, there it is. Uh, it's, uh, it's described that the decor there is described as porn chic. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. Is it? So, like, Red stained, stained um, ha- curtains. How and you say? Couch with it, with one thing turned over and, you know, one cushion turned over. Don't mm. turn that cushion over. That one's a bit wet, too. <laughs> 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 oh, God. So, I guess they have to claim... That you gotta, well, I guess one of the things is, like, you bitches better clean up after your dogs. Right? You'd have to look after your own doggo, right? Wow. Who shit is this? I reckon there's a... There's I'm going to go around and sniff every dog's ass if I recognise <laughs> this turd. Oh, you're, you're out. I think there's a poo czar or a poo master of the, oh, of the yeah. house that cleans up. Someone yeah. that's hired specifically. A pooper I, scooper. Uh, there you go. I wouldn't want... Uh, if I was Hugh, I wouldn't want my... Um, the booper scooper. Oh, uh, the booper scooper. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Continue. I just wouldn't want my uh, harem to be cleaning up to get in that shit under their nails after they've just had all that plastic surgery had the nails done had the hair did why would they want to pick up shit Tim yeah so why would they because the 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 rule is that um, yeah if you want to if you want to leave you can leave whenever you like oh right it's up to you but the car all the clothes the thousand dollars worth of sex toys a day the <laughs> dog everything else stains Damn. like you only get it if you're in the harem, right, right? Cheryl, right. Cindy, <laughs> um, and no unions. Do you think that uh, it's pretty gross? It's pretty gross, but um, this is pretty gross. Too, oh, yeah. here you go on. <laughs> What's pretty gross? Always be prepared, right? Yeah, I can burn anything. Hef keeps. This is what hef keeps in the house. Baby oil, Kleenex tissues, and Vaseline in every room of the house. Because when you're always having beep boop, there's no time to go looking for lubricant and tissues. And that's the last one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that's the rules, girls. So um, Nothing about parking or... Like I said, you can leave whenever you want. Um, oh. most, most stay. You could, yeah, because most stay because we do have your passports in the safe. So I know what I'd be that. doing. I know what I'd be doing. I'd be getting that... Um, what's that What's that soap? The Solvol or whatever. <laughs> yeah. And like really sand up and scratch me hands up and get really like rough hands. Right. And always be offering half. Do you want a back massage? Do you want a back rub? Of course, he says yes a few times. You scratch the fuck out of him, right? You do a terrible, terrible, right. terrible job. Mm. You're off the hook. No more back rubs. I think you're off the payroll. Is it? Mm. Uh, 
Jagged hands. Hugh is not going to stand for that, man. So, plastic surgery free. All right, I want nipples on each one of my ass cheeks because I want four tits. <laughs> <laughs> Will they do that? Will plastic Who surgeons does? do that? Who? I don't know. Oh, will they? Is, is there, I, is there about to read. I thought you were about to read the next article. No, no. I want to know if that's uh, one of those weird... Because, you know, you've got furries. You've got, yep. you got weird furries. And these, they're, they're in, want, injecting the silicon yeah. into your butt like to make it like abnormal. Like, Abnormally like, wide and weird. 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 Yeah, it's strange, isn't it? Yeah. It's like it's like Photoshop. They see it in Photoshop when dudes are like, oh, this would be funny. Yeah, we'll just make it a bit wider with this tool. And they go, oh, that must oh, be a thing. Yeah. I want that. I want that one. Someone that didn't get the joke. Donka donk. <sighs> <laughs> but just earn your donka donk. I want to know. You know, don't, don't, you want to, if you know whether anybody's had surgi- surgically attached nipples to their ass cheeks to make their ass look like tits, please write in. Please write in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Any, anyway, have you ever checked that email address? Or the uh, no. Do we have one? I think it's in the description. Is it? You should check that. See if anyone. Why don't they check it? Send us a message to, t- to see if it works. Is that how it works? I mean, we've, they've reached out all these times and we've just never checked. I doubt it. Wouldn't you comment on, like, iTunes or... Oh, you go, these guys never get back to you. Yes, just smash, look, like, uh, click like, subscribe. <laughs> and, um, you know, you always support. Tell I can't be fucked with that shit. No. What's your email? What? Who are you, Grandpa? True, you know what I mean? true. That's what, I, like, that's, that's what I think often. Website. What's your web, website address? Yeah. www.oldschool. <laughs> <laughs> dot out of date right dot yahoo so you don't get dot ask jeeves you, you just what do you do you message message people messenger nah, people. it's like you know you got to be a mogul now you got to fucking know how to, to tick run. tocker yeah you got to you got to you, you've seen in the youtube videos you, you got to get to people in other ways i got to get at you yeah get at me that's it right. like and hit like and subscribe get at me twitter twitch that's where it's all happening oh and we got to play video games on twitch all day yeah. And then people watch you play. Ah, uh, there's uh, 40, Rod and Clue. Oh, yeah. On Q. Third character of the show. Um, yeah, well, fascinating. Yeah, you play games all day. Do you reckon you could be fucked being a Mr. Beast friend? No, I, I don't think I could run a, a Patreon, a YouTube page. It's hard enough to. Although, if we did. If we did uh, I think get a um, hmm. get a property, right. I think it'd be, it'd be wise to do a jump in the turnstile. Goes rural series. Goes rural. Goes rural. <laughs> We're so rural. Well, if I get a property, we'll document the whole thing. I'll be. I'll be a YouTuber for Drive sure. Back in the roads. You know, I'd be one of those YouTubers that you actually don't see their face. You, you only see the project they're doing. Well, they don't oh, never the say anything. Well, you can see the face, but they never say anything. Oh, so, yeah. so it There's works a, in every la- in every sleepy. country. Oh yeah, yeah. I see what you. Oh, if okay. I'm building a cabin, right? Yeah. You just you show the movements and you just see what I'm doing, but you, you just don't you, say anything. Okay. You just build and build and build. Yeah. But it's like build, edit, build, edit, oh, build. Set camera edit. up, go to the, the drone. It's a nightmare. Hmm. That's a nightmare. You're not like, getting anything done. Trying, they're like, you know, this uh, this was 100 hours of footage it took me to um, shave it down to a two-minute video. Yeah. It's like, ah, uh, <laughs> so much work. So, so much, much work. Uh, but I see those dudes building log cabins. I watch a lot of log cabin stuff. And they're <laughs> out there. They're, they're doing it. Doing Proper. it tough. Proper. Proper. You know, like cut the groove out of this and fucking goes half onto the next log. Yeah, you know, and, and then fucking... a layer of moss in between each. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. The whole nine yards. Is it that young guy? That... Several young guys, it's actually. Crazy. Yeah. But I would like, if we had a property, mm. I want I want some hidey holes. You know, I want the hobbit house mm. in the woods i want the tree house in the trees we must have a uh bat cave entry you know the, in the 70s you've got to swim in the dam to get it to get to it ah yeah right. i hate it that already sounds, yeah i know get wet every terrifying. time i want to go into my batting cave that's terrifying <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's right there's not enough towels in here. <laughs> where's, where's the vessel? This thing's <laughs> filled up with damn water. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get a box of tissues. It t- doesn't work. Can't get a box of tissues in there, mate. Although we could do a shed and the entrance is through there, so there's no door on the shed. You right. gotta swim through the dam, come up, dry. What's in the shed? I don't know. Playboy. 
<laughs> one crusty playboy that you hide. plenty of vaseline plenty of tissues yeah. okay well girls are you getting all this uh i need some massage oil the links men will go to to hide masturbating i'm not, I'm not a big fan of the massage i'm oils, a massage i think we're oil, gonna say that masto scenario. i'm not a big fan of the masto masto oil um the oil right like, you know on but, your body yeah mm. yeah just, just have a scratch, pick a scratch and a fucking... You'd much rather a dry rub. Ugh. <laughs> but you know what I mean? If you were yeah. going to a massage parlor, Oh, no, no, no. That, that's, I, I guess a massage is, um, you know... You're, you're okay with that? Yeah. Well, you go to the osteopath. He's not fucking squidging it out with bloody lashings of KY. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, like at the uh, ultrasound. They do that. It's like... <laughs> it's too much. Guess what? I'm just going to put some KY on it. I'll be like... <laughs> here. This shit's Wait, expensive, man. Squeeze the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Got it all. <laughs> now let's have a look at your baby. Yeah, I can't see look. anything in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll get all this gel out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and all that without a keyboard. Right, you mm. did well. Yeah, but no, you, you, you just, where, where don't you like oil? Where don't you like oil? Because <laughs> you, you'll have it. You'll have it on a on a massage. You don't want oil in your petrol tank? No, you you were saying you're anti oil. Yeah, oh like yeah, I just don't, I just don't like the feeling of it. Right, right. right. I I'd like yeah, whatever. But you know, when you get the like heavy heavy tea tree oil or something like mm. that, you're like <laughs> smelling it all the time. I sort of can't breathe when I'm wearing this thing. How long does it take? Do you like it the- wears off? <laughs> I can't breathe. Oh, I'm gonna go have a shower, <laughs> and then it burns. <laughs> and then it burns. <laughs> do, you, do you like the feeling of a, um, a, a the heat stuff for your legs and stuff? What's it called? Deep heat. Deep heat. Oh yeah, I feel like it's more cold than hot. To be honest, right? Is you that get, weird? You're getting the wrong one. Is it? You're getting the cold one. You reckon? Maybe. Nah, I reckon because I, I rub that stuff on my lower back from time to time. Yeah. Right. I'll Bloody hide. um. What's it? What's Voltaren what's it? Voltaren or something. Yeah, like Voltaren. Yeah. And you get a hot sensation, do you? Uh, no, well, I use deep heat. What do you get from that? Heat. A deep, deep heat. But is it like a cold? No, but like a burning sensation. Okay, because I feel, to me, my brain my Brian, yeah. says cold. Well, I run hot, you run cold. I don't know. I'm like deep, deep heat. <laughs> no. I think not. <laughs> Feels like I've got ice on me back. Yeah, it feels like fucking um, sweet, sweet cooling, you know? I'll tell you what else would be nice if it was cool. This room. Me, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's it's the hot, hot heat. Have you got an air con in We do, we do, but we care about uh, sound quality, so yeah, I can't yeah. have the fan. I mean, I know there's dogs in the background, and I know That's it right. sounds like we're doing it in a tin can. But... In a, yeah, in a hallway <laughs> or something. But who gives a shit about fucking reverb? I People don't. add reverb. That's true. It's like a sought-after thing. But yeah. they even made a specific reverb pedal for your guitar. It's called a... Reverb. Gotcha. <laughs> well, we learned heaps in this episode. Did, and it's we? time for us to go have a cool drink. Yep, bit of, bit cool of a, down, bit of bit a of shower. A, a bit stand of a, in front of... Yep. You need some deep heat on you to feel cool. You need to have really big cry and scrub in the shower. Yeah. yeah. Any final thoughts? Uh, final thoughts for me... I'd say stay away from the Playboy Mansion. <laughs> <laughs> it's a trap. And I would say don't confuse your um, deep heat for KY Jelly or mm. the other way around. Oh, yeah. Yeah, nasty. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Well, I'm Jezbot. I'm Timmy Taco. Thanks for listening. Goodbye. They hop, they duck, they climb. They go through two at a time. Jump in the turnstile, jump the turnstile. Jump the, the turnstile. Leap over the turnstile. Hop over the turnstile. I had to take you. You like a ninja. Jump in the turnstile. And it's no small thing. People have to jump the turnstile. I definitely know the turnstile. Jump in the turnstile. I definitely would do it once, twice. I would do it over again. Whenever I believe I have to do it, but I do it, I get weak because and there was no one there, so I figured it'd be just easier to jump the turnstile. So I've jumped some fairies in my day. I definitely jumped the turnstile a few times. Jump in. Turnstile. Instead of just paying a $2.25 cent. I'm full of turns out back. Like that, boom, boom. My whole body is not moving. It's my leg. Jump the turn style. Jump the turn style. The turn style. We are the anti-bacterial wipes. This don't even look sanitary.